is also one of anticipation this afternoon as the champions and league leaders Rangers visit Scottish Cup holders Dundee United who won that trophy against the Albert Club last May and denied them back-to-back -back travels. So Rangers coming onto the field and certainly that handling result was one which cast some doubts over Rangers here of invincibility on the domestic scene but after a disappointing start to the season Walter Smith's men are back in their accustomed position. And Dundee United have also emerged from a bleak spell and, like Rangers, were unbeaten during the month of November. And their return to form, as we've heard, has coincided with the return after injury of striker Craig Brewster, who scored in each of the four games since his comeback. So let's have a look at the Dundee United side. And Alec Cleland, who's clear of suspension, coming back into the scheme of things this afternoon. And of course, experience of Morris Malpass, the United skipper, will be vital in this match and Rangers will have to watch for the forward runs of David Hanna who's already managed to score three goals this season and uh, David Bowman who's just been awarded a testimonial is another player that Rangers will have to keep a very close watch on indeed and the Rangers lineup well a welcome return for the club skipper Richard Goff who comes in for the first time since early October he's missed seven games and this gives him the chance to team up with Basil Bully and Alan McLaren. And of course, Peter Haustra and Brian Loudrup will provide the width. Gordon Jury has come into the Rangers side this afternoon in the absence of Mark Haitley. So it'll be interesting to see just how they do line up. There's Craig Brewster, tremendous scoring record. And of course, the man who got the winning goal in the Scottish Cup final last May. And there is the Rangers skipper, Richard Goff. And he'll be so important as Rangers trying to put together the kind of run they've failed to do so far this season. And David Hanna there. And as I said, Rangers will have to watch his forward runs. Just signed the new long-term contract, another one of United's promising young players. And as the man that United will have to watch, Morris Malpass said earlier in the week, if United can cut off the supply to Loudrup, that might just help the United cause. So the referee this afternoon, the highly experienced Jim McCluskey from Stewarton, who handled the League Cup final at Ibrooks last Sunday. He steps in this afternoon into this particular match. Uh, Ken Clark from Paisley had to call off, and he has uh, an experienced official on the stand side, Martin Clark, this afternoon, who is a Grade One referee. So Tanner Dice looking splendid these days, the George Fox stand there. And the ground filling up, there's uh, Peter Haustra, who has a quite amazing scoring record against Dundee United. And he scored half a dozen goals against them in the last couple of seasons, including a couple of doubles. So there's another player that uh, United will have to watch very carefully indeed. So the referee checks his watch, has a look out towards the linesman as the crowd settles here at Tannadice. This is the 77th Premier League meeting between these clubs. Rangers have won 38, United just 15, and 24 have been drawn. A significant number of drawn matches. So away we go. And uh, a bit of history being made this afternoon. The first ever live televised league match from Tannadice Park. There have been a couple of European ties and a Scottish Cup tie, but the first league match to be televised live in this stadium that has been refurbished so well. So, an early free kick goes Rangers' way, and uh, McLaren leaves it to Bolly. So, the high one played in by him, and that ball coming off the head there of Gary Bowen, allowing his goalkeeper to collect it comfortably. Callum O'Hanlon, who was signed uh, just three months ago from Preston. So alongside me, as ever this afternoon, Alan McInerney. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, the, to today's game. Obviously, two teams well on top of their form at the moment, both undefeated in November. Rangers, I think, obviously will miss Mark Haitley, although I'm sure there are players in there that can do the job. And a welcome sight to see Craig Brewster back in the Dundee United team. And like you already said, has scored four goals in the last four games and he will be a very important man for them this afternoon. A the long throw there from Robertson, it's returned by Malpass, a touch on by Christian Daly, looking for Brewster, good play by United, 
It's Daly again getting in the early shot, but comfortably dealt with in the end by Andy Gorham. But a nice passing move there between Christian Daly and uh, Craig Brewster. And an early shot going in, an early touch for Andy Gorham. But uh, Christian Daly there, looking in lively form. He has three goals already this season, and they've all come in the last four games. It's played through by Cleland. This is Goff. Good long kick by Gorham. Digging in well there in the shape of Grant Johnson, but uh, the ball out of play for the 4 2 Rangers. It's a little touch by McCoyst. This is Haustra. Here comes Jury. Now it's McCall. Nice little ball through from Loudrup. It's Robertson. And United have to concede the corner, the ball played high into the air by Alec Cleland, but again, a delightful little touch there from Loudrup through to Robertson. It's a great touch by Brian Loudrup there, good early ball from Shoot McCall to Loudrup, he knows exactly what, she's, what he's going to do, David Roberts is already on his way, he just couldn't get the ball into the box enough, nevertheless a corner to Rangers. So they push defenders forward, Goffs there along with Bolly. The shot going in from Houstra. And a testing one for Callum O'Hanlon. So Hauser posting warning that he's out to improve on that great scoring record of his against Dundee United. Ball breaking out to the Rangers player. And the first time shot just dipping in front of Callum O'Hanlon. So a tremendous atmosphere here at Tannerice. It's about three and a half minutes gone. And no scoring, but uh, both sides posting early warning of their intentions, both committed to attack. United have a real gap to close on Rangers this afternoon, trailing by 11 points, so they could do themselves and the rest of the Premier Division a real favour if they could win this one. This is Daly. It's headed away by McCall. Bolly. This is Charlie Miller. And, uh, Bolly under a bit of pressure there. Now it's Christian Daly. Good solid challenge going in though from Alan McLaren, who settled so well into the Rangers defence. I think I also added a bonus. The way Rangers are playing today is playing Alan over on that right hand side, but fits in nicely to a right back area. And he's no stranger to playing in that position. Golf has picked up Brewster, the two of them in a tangle there, and that goes behind for the corner. To United, Golf not at all happy. I'm sure Richards will be used to playing against big centre forwards, or trains against Mark Hitley every day. The boy has got it on his hands today with Craig Brewster. So in comes a corner kick, the goalkeeper commits himself. Uh, scrappy there by the Rangers defence as uh, Brian Wells come in, Gorham left his line. The Rangers managed to scrape the ball away. Not only Craig Brewster they have in the box, but Brian Welsh has proved in occasions when the D United have a corner, he can certainly go on the score sheet. Although his acrobatics there didn't just come off, but certainly a threat that any set piece United have. That's a poor kick out by Gorham. Uh, Robertson has it. This is Haustra. Through for McCoyst. Jury, good running by Jury. Tremendous pace by Jury. And O'Hanlon did so well to run from his line. And it's just enough to put off the Rangers striker. Delightful play again, the ball through to Jury. Powerful running by him, a lot of pace. And O'Hanlon doing well coming out and just putting him off. Gordon Jury certainly showed Gary Bowen a clean pair of heels there. Did him for pace, just couldn't direct it on though. But certainly a great run from Gordon Jury coming from deep. McLaren under pressure from Daly. It's picked up by Bolin. A bit of hesitancy there by the United players, and Rangers have it again. That's through to McCoyst. Again. Cleland backing off McCoyst there, but uh, meanwhile the offside flag could get up on the far side. But uh, United hesitating just a bit on a couple of occasions there, and uh, allowing Rangers to 
apply some pressure. This is Bullen. So to Hannah. Challenged by Miller, but uh, does well, keeps possession. So Kidley will be so important for United this afternoon. That is now very much part of the Scotland international setup. This is Christian Daly. McKinley again. Hannah. Cross now to Cleland. Bowman's wide, but uh, Cleland tries to cut in field. He's caught by Haustra. This is Laudra. And Camley defended by David Bowman. Knocking the ball about. That's Malpass with the high one forward. It's headed away by Bolly. This is Gary Bowen. It's Daly. McLaren goes to meet him. Bowen again. It comes off Miller. The chance is on for Brewster. And that was a real chance for the United striker. Rangers failing to clear properly, but uh, Brewster sending the chance high and wide of target. I'm sure Big Craig couldn't believe the ball actually dropped him there, but he certainly knows he should have at least hit the target. And as the game goes on today, he probably won't get a better chance to score than he did there. The ball off Charlie Miller. And, uh, it was a Giltes chance for United, but now it's McCoy's for Rangers. Sending it through to Miller. Loudrop. Good ball by Loudrop and McCoyst on the end of that one. Well, Loudrop can make something out of absolutely nothing. Good running by him into that space, taking the ball there from Miller and getting in the cross. McCoyst in with the first time effort. The only reason he was allowed to get the cross in was Morris Malpass didn't go tight enough on him, Jerry. And Coyst almost notched his 301st, according to him, of course. But I'll give him the win after the doubt there, but Morris Malpass will have to get tighter on Brian Loudrop in positions like that, and he should know better. It's played by Robertson to Haustra, who was under pressure from Bowman. His route to goal was cut off, that was a chancy ball, but he got away with it. It's McCall battling hard, getting the ball to McLaren. Long one now for Jury to chase, we've already seen a bit of his pace in this match. Time to sweep it clear, this is Bolle. Well controlled by McLaren. Nice early touch by Loudrop. He takes a return from Jury. Promising play this by Rangers. Malpass under pressure here. McCoyson. Back it goes to Loudrop. A long one now out to Haustra. The header from him. And it's away by Billy McKinley. Now by Brewster. And Rangers have the throw in. David Robertson coming across to take charge of that situation. Rangers chasing their seventh title in a row. And as things stand, looking good for it. But uh, just a year ago this week, uh, United went to Ibrox and Rangers were on a reasonable run at that stage. United won by 3 0. So they will cause problems here this afternoon. And here's Daly coming through. It's Bully who gets in the pass back. It's kicked high in there by Gorham. There can still be a problem here for Rangers. Hannah gets a touch, but in steps Bully. Out now to Loudrop, he's closed down by Bolin. And Phil Matsubazo Bolli there, he did use all his experience and all his defending to best use. I really thought that Christian Daly was going to get away from him, but he used his body enough to manage to block Christian Daly and just cleared the danger. This is McLaren for Rangers. Go towards McCoy, who controls that well, despite the attentions of Welsh. This is Jury, McLaren. Cleared by Welsh, watched carefully by Goff, who of course is playing against his old club here this afternoon. Nice little ball there from Haustra to Robertson. Robertson swinging in the cross, it's powerfully headed away though by Welsh. Turned by Haustra, this is Miller, McCall. The Rangers looking very much in the mood here, a lot of nice first touches from them. So that one from... Robertson going a straight, it's cleared by Welsh, only as far as McCall. 
Well, it's McCall. Loudrop, who's popped up now on the left-hand side. Very much a free roll again this afternoon. But that ball drifts out of play for the throw-in to Dundee United. I think of, of all the problems that Rangers can cause in D United today, I think it will be the fact that Brian Loudrop is given such a free roll by Walter Smith. And it'll just be about them organising and who picks him up at whatever side he plays on. This is Jury. McLaren to Bolly. Given away though. Picked up now by Welsh. Well, went in looking for Brewster, but uh, well away from the United striker. Same toss, Jury. He gets in there just ahead of Welsh. McCoy's there. Well, it's McCoy slotting that one in, but uh, Alec Cleland had plenty of time under no real pressure, and they uh, responded splendidly. Certainly the idea was right, Jerry. Coyce are looking for Brian Loudrop to come in at the back post. Brian hadn't just read it and stayed out. It's easy enough for the defender to clear the danger. It's uh, Robertson coming across to deal with Brewster. Both Brewster and Daly. Pushing through the middle, going wide when necessary. Trying to pull the Rangers defenders about. This is Daly. Bowman. Getting away from Robertson. That's cleared by Bolly though. For the throw in to United just in the line with the Rangers penalty area. So United without Gordon Petrich this afternoon, having to change things about a bit in their defence, and uh, Rangers, well, it'll be interesting to see uh, how this defensive formation works this afternoon. Uh, as Alan said earlier, McLaren operating on the right-hand side, Bowley just inside him, alongside Goff in the central roles, and Robertson at left-back. So uh, the Rangers management team, of course, uh, both with Dundee United connections, Walter Smith was the assistant manager here for so many years. Morris Malpass uh, tucked in a central role this afternoon alongside Brian Welsh as they try to contain the Rangers' front line. This is Jury. Cleared high in the air by Welsh. McCall goes for it with Bowman. This is Billy McKinley. Long ball through, but the offside flag is up against Christian Daly. So Christian Daly coming back to form. Three goals in the last four games, including a double against Hearts. And, uh, still just 21 years of age. He's been around for a few years in this United first team. So it's Basil Bolly with the free kick for Rangers. It's in towards McCoyst. Coach is going to find it hard up there together. No, and he's mainly on his own. And he'll certainly be missing Mark Hately today when he has to try and direct headers like that on, which he's not used to doing. It's Houstra back helping in defence. Houstra showing a tremendous appetite for the game these days and obviously relishing being back in the first team, fighting hard for his place. This is McCoy, almost threading that one through to Loudrup, who had been played onside by both Welsh and Boland. This is McKinley. Nice skills by McKinley. Brings cheers from the United fans. Switch of play now towards Christian Daly. It's headed down by Bolly. Picked up now by Charlie Miller. This is McCall. Haustra. Long one from Haustra looking to use the pace of Robertson, but that one going astray. Exquisite skill from Billy McKinley in, in midfield there as well, trying to show the Rangers that they don't have it all their own way. Stamping his authority in midfield and trying to drive on Dundee United. And see if they can snatch, snatch the first goal. Again, the ball is out of play. And it goes Rangers' way.
So Goff rolling the ball back to his keeper. And they've got him. He's having a fine season. Along when they're looking for Jury. It's cleared by Welsh. Brewster tries to get a touch. It breaks through though to Goff. This is Robertson. He's got Kostra wide. Flips it through though. Looking for McCoyst. All passes shadowing him. Clellan's in there as well. This is uh, Harry Bullen. Got away by McLaren. Touch on by Christian Daly. Now Brewster trying to squeeze the ball out there to Frank Johnson. This is Loudrop. Nice first touch from McCoy to Jury. House is in the middle. McCoy's arriving. Loudrop's there as well. Still it's Loudrop. Great skills again by him. Oh, marvellous goal by Loudrop. 17 minutes gone here at Tannadice. Fantastic skills from Loudrop. Stepping away from two defenders and sending an unstoppable shot. Pass, Callum O'Hanlon, absolute brilliance from the Rangers player, wrong-footing the two United players, and what a wonderful finish. Well, he's really done Billy McKillie and Alec Clare, and I honestly thought he was going to have a pot with his left foot. Brian knew he was coming back onto his right foot there, that's why he sent them on the other way, and it's a great... He had no right to win the ball in the midfield to start the move. You see here, he knows he's coming in here, shapes to shoot, comes back, and he's got the whole of the right-hand side of the goal. It's an absolutely brilliant finish, and he's been doing it all season for Rangers. Well, meanwhile, United have pushed forward and won themselves a corner kick. But a stunning goal from the Den. So can United get themselves back in here? That was Hauser back again, helping in defence. United have it again. Brewster's there, but uh, Goff gets a touch. Jury's there. It's returned by Johnson. Hauster tries to cut it out. This is McKinley. McKinley hitting a good shot there. Well, Billy McKinley, who played his 200th league game for United against Motherwell at Fir Park uh, last month. Trying very hard to get his side back into the game. An experienced player now, 25 years of age. And the United will be looking for a bit more of that. A few more shots at Andy Gorham's goal. But uh, I would imagine the United defender stunned by the quality of Loudrop's play. In at the heart of the move, winning the ball in the middle of the park, and then drifting away out to the left-hand side, finding space for himself, and then the ability to take on two United players. And hit a shot that uh, O'Hanlon just managed to get a touch to, but such was the part. Carried all the way into the net. So United nil, Rangers one. Just over 20 minutes gone here at Tannadice. We have the challenge going in there by Bowen. Gordon Jury was in the end of it, so a free kick has been awarded. The McCoy's laughing away there, he's enjoying himself. Yeah, just I think a little bit of frustration from Gary Ball, and he's been cut out in a couple of occasions. The Rangers could really tease him a little bit there and come in late. So the free kick hit in by McLaren. Goff gets his head to it. Small pass is under a bit of pressure there. Jury challenges. This is Haustra. Good cross! And what a chance for Charlie Miller. Great play by Haustra, a fine cross by the Dutch winger, the left foot, swinging in there, swinging in the cross, and Miller sending his header just beyond the post. Well, he's certainly not picked up in the box. Charlie Miller cannot believe he's got... A, it was a great ball in from Hustra, dipping right to his head. He tried to direct it in and just couldn't get it on target. But you see, he just hit, hit behind Grant Johnson. He never picked him up, and they almost paid the penalty. The Rangers in superb form. United have got to really do something quickly here. Get something back, steady themselves. 
Does that man have enough experience out there to to do that? But uh, both Hausstra and Laudrup looking in tremendous form for Rangers. This is Clellan for United. Goff digs in well. This is Laudrup. McCoy's in a lot of space away in the far side of the field. Ball's played through in that direction. Do not enough pace in it up, and in comes Hannah. This is Gary Bowen. And a bit of slackness, a bit of misunderstanding between the United players. Rangers have possession again. It's McCall playing it to Robertson. This is Haustra. Robertson's racing through towards the edge of the penalty area. Chests it down to Miller. Across comes Brent Johnson. A little stumble by him. And a free kick was awarded to United. Quickly taken. This is McKinley. McKinley just overdoing it a bit. He showed some lovely skills earlier on, but uh, that's a warning for him from Hausstra. He's mainly complaining he had nobody passing. Nobody seemed to be running into a space for him to deliver the ball. That's why he had to try the draw back, and unfortunately for him, was almost caught by Hustra. Clellan playing it to McKinley. This is Bowman. Goff comes across to make the challenge on Christian Daly. Well, Christian Daly was just 16 years of age when he made his United debut, now in his fifth season here. Rangers leading by one goal to nil. Laudrup after 17 minutes. This is a crucial spell for United. They don't want to lose another one here. That's Malpass who hooks it away. This is Bowman. Supported by Cleland. Highland played through. Looking for Daly. This is Bowman. Nice little touch now to Cleland. The early cross from him. And McLaren's here for Rangers. Picked up though by Bowman. Cleland again. But, uh, that cross. I don't think landing where he intended it. And it's Rangers now breaking out through Miller. This is Laudrup. And just putting men forward again. Ellie McCoy is in a bit of space on the far side of the penalty area. It's played through though to Jury. And that's a goal kick, indicates the referee. Jim McCluskey. Yeah, I think I don't think he can complain here. I don't think Brian actually saw McCoy uh, out on the far side. He just wants to lay in for Jury. Although it definitely came off Gordon. And it definitely was a bike. Good decision by the referee. This is Goff with Brewster. Well, Richard Goff in commanding form in these early stages. Difficult to believe he's been out uh, injured for so long, but uh, Walter Smith made the point during the week he wanted Goff to have a fair number of reserve appearances and not rush his way back into the team. And that certainly seems to have paid off. And there was a chance uh, the Rangers captain could have come back against Aberdeen, but he was given just another little bit of time. So here come United now, trying to get themselves back into this game. This is Hannah. It's played through by Brewster, but... Uh, behind for the goal kick. Intense were good. Craig knows it wasn't a good ball and it doesn't give it it didn't give David Hanna any chance to, to get the ball under control. And if they're going to start having to create things and be united, the balls then are going to have to be better of a better quality than that. Well, the Rangers fans in the crowd well pleased with the start the team have made to this game. There they are, the Rangers supporters. And lots of smiles and happy faces in there as uh, the team approach the Christmas New Year period, leading the championship yet again. And looking extremely good, it's another good ball through from Laudrup. McCoy sitting it early because O'Hanlon was well out of his goal. Again, a lovely touch from Laudrup through to McCoy and the early effort from him. 
Well, you normally see him with a smile on his face. I think the smell would be even greater if he had got that one in. Kellum just getting back in enough time, but Coyce never had enough on it. Well, no matter what uh, Ali McCoy says, the official situation is that he's in 299 goals, and how he'd love to get that 300th this afternoon and uh, join some of the Ibrox greats in terms of goal scoring. He already is a bit of a legend as McCoy, but uh, only Bob McPhail and Jimmy Smith have managed the achievement of 300 goals for the Ibrox club. McKinley. Rooster's dropped a bit deeper, but uh, Bolly was there to challenge him. And it's played through by Miller to McCoyst. Still it's McCoyst trying the shot. And a good effort that was too. Well, Loudrup was running for him. Jury was wide of him. You see Jury there moving through, but McCoyst deciding to go it alone. And that one almost catching the goalkeeper down at his left hand post. If there's any young strikers watching that, it's a perfect example of a goal scorer or a, a, certainly a man looking to score. Jerry must have heard him, he was only in 299. He wants that 300 goal. You only need a half a yard to get a shot on target, and that's exactly what he almost did there. And Charlie Miller does well. Richard Goff has taken an octave face as he attempted to clear that ball, but uh, Miller sorted things out for him. And now it's Loudrup getting in another dangerous cross. It's Houstra! Well, Rangers in tremendous form here, and United will have to be very careful they're not swamped in this period of the game. Another superb cross from Loudrup. Houstra was coming in on the far side, and another chance there for Rangers. Well, certainly a realistic score at this moment in 10 period could be 3-0 for Rangers. They really are creating chance after chance, and it makes it a lot easier if you know if you get a player like Brian Loudrup who will deliver the ball into the box, and Houstra arriving late just almost got it in. Meanwhile, it's McCoy's getting a good touch, it's Houstra again. Sending in the dipping effort. It, uh, it shows you the confidence that uh, Rangers are playing with. Houstra trying that effort from way out. McCoy, just a short time ago, also trying an early shot when he saw the keeper a bit off his line. Yeah, I really think he tried it, Jerry, because he realised he was he had no support. Kellen Mahanlon certainly wasn't on his line, and he's certainly a man that could do that. And Walter Smith in the background looking very relaxed with Ian Durant. Chinox uh, not quite relaxed yet. Have you seen him relaxed? A nice touch there by Christian Daly. That's away though by Robertson. Dropping in behind Welsh. McCoy trying to put him under pressure, but the United defender does extremely well. And now he hits a long one for Daly to chase. It's headed out though by McLaren. Again, Rangers will find with this player they've got uh, a very adaptable man indeed. He can play centre back, full back, midfield. So well worth the money they paid for him. It's led off by Hannah. And headed behind by Robertson for the corner to United. So perhaps a chance here for the home side to do something. Gary Bowen swinging that ball in initially and uh, putting Robertson under a bit of pressure. So it's McKinley, sweeping in the corner kick. So it's behind everyone, it's picked up now by Bolin. Johnson goes in a run, but Bolin sends in the high one, looking for Brewster, Goff sailed up, climbs well again. This is Miller. Miller trying to force his way forward, he's got a lot to do here. Does well to retain possession, and that draws applause from the Rangers fans. Claren caught there, but uh, a free kick awarded to Rangers. So, just a little nip there from Frank Johnson and the Rangers player. And a free kick awarded. Played in by McLaren. McCoy's climbing with Malpass. To the referee stepping in and awarding a free kick. Free kick. Well, there's Ivan Golax, uh, maybe not at all happy. And here come United again. It's Hannah. Bully goes to meet him. That's behind for a goal kick. Well, Bully made the challenge, and the ball certainly appeared to come off the United player. 
before going behind, and the referee had no hesitation in the point out. So I think David, ha uh, David Hannah a little bit agreed at Bolly there, thinking that Bolly came in to actually try and uh, do a little bit of previously harm, but he certainly came off him, and it is a goal kick for Rangers. Gary Bowen, quite happy to accept the throw in. So just over half an hour gone here at Tanner Ice. Rangers leading Dundee United by one goal to nil. Loud up the scorer after 17 minutes. United trying to battle their way back here. This is Cleland. Ball comes off Loud up and breaks to McCoyce. Loud drops away. Still it's McCoyce. It's Loudrop. Well, trying more of that skill of his. Still, he has it. It's a real danger from that particular effort, and United sweep it to safety. But every time he gets possession, it spells danger for Dundee United. Wonderful entertainer. This is McLaren to Miller. Jury. Cross to Robertson. It's clear by Malpass. And as far as McLaren, back to Goff. This is McCall. Just enjoying a lot of possession here. Robertson still well forward. It breaks away towards Houstra, who gets in just ahead of Brewster. This is Goff. Houstra. For McCoy, lead off to Jury. Good play by Jury! And the ball dipping over the crossbar. An explosive shot from Gordon Jury. Yeah, it's good play by Rangers here. Coyce lays it off to him. He actually goes on the, on the way thinking that Gordon Jury does really well getting him from the defender. Unlucky, good shot. But if you just check here, you'll probably see McCoy is absolutely free in the right hand side. But he certainly had his options open, but unfortunately, I just couldn't hit the target with the shot. It's Goff's header, it's picked up by Bowman. Goff's in there again. It's laid off by Daly. It's picked up now by McKinley. Put away by McLaren. Turned by Bowman. This is Hannah. United have the throw. He tried that ball a couple of times, Billy McKinley. He's just been a yard or so too short. Or either that. Alan McLaren has read the situation very well and has fitted into that position today absolutely perfectly. So just over ten minutes till half time. Rangers leading by a goal to nil as Goff climbs to clear that one. Little touch by Miller. McCall's in there. Here come Rangers again through Jury. He does well. Gets away from Johnson. But, uh, too early with the cross. Houstra and McCoy were arriving, but uh, just a bit on the early side. And it's a free kick against Robertson. United in a hurry to get on with things. So McKinley decides now to leave it. United will want to take any advantage they can from their set pieces, but uh, they look to have a lot to do in this game. Rangers playing with a lot of style and confidence, but. One goal could make all the difference to United. Well, Goff pleading his innocence, but uh, United get themselves another free kick, this time inside the Rangers' half. And that's a signal for Welsh to move forward to the edge of the Rangers' penalty area. Floated in by McKinley, Goff gets his head to it. It's away by Loudrup. Only as far as McKinley. Well, Ali McCoy seems to be toiling down there. He's looking in towards the dugout. Meanwhile, it's Gorham under pressure. Flying the ball away. But uh, McCoy looks to be in a lot of trouble as United mount these attacks. And meanwhile, the referee steps in and awards a free kick. McCoy's just on the halfway line. Looking not at all happy. He just pulled up there. 
And uh, you can see by his face that uh, he doesn't think he can continue. And this would be a real blow for the player and for Rangers, especially with Mark Hately being out. So Ian Durant has uh, started to warm up just below us. His play goes on. This is McCoy's, but uh, he knows he can't continue. So McCoy just pulled up just below our commentary position, and he still has to wait for that 300th goal. So a disappointment for him again, finding it so difficult to steer clear of injury. So Ian Durant, a great favourite with the Rangers fans, comes into the fray. And uh, he'll play it up front there with Loudrup. But this really does increase the pressure now on Rangers to think about uh, getting Duncan Ferguson back as quickly as possible. I know that uh, Walter Smith has been examining the possibility with club secretary Campbell Ogilvy about getting Ferguson back up the road from Everton. And when you think it's a record signing, £4 million, pounds, and he's playing somewhere else with uh, both the main strikers injured, it now becomes a matter of some considerable interest to Rangers fans and uh, importance to Walter Smith. But uh, the importance this afternoon are the three points at stake here. United trying to get themselves back into this game. And Walter Smith there, who was looking so relaxed just a few moments ago, knows that going into the holiday programme, he has problems he could well do without. Rangers have a strong squad, but it's really going to be tested now. It's nicely left by Brewster, picked up by Christian Daly. And it uh, is awarded to United. It's been left now to Dave Bowman. It's played shot to Cleland. It's a little bit untidy from United there, and uh, Robertson slides the ball out of play. And he's not happy then, he felt that uh, he'd been fouled. I think he thought Dave Bowman came in a little bit late, but it was a 50-50, Dave Bowman had every right to go for it. And it's fine now for the corner kick. So another chance for United to do something. A great chance for him to get a goal here, Jerry, with Rangers supposed to make a change like that. So it's quickly taken, but uh, Goff responds. It's returned by Johnson, it's Goff again. Back comes Billy McKinley, looking in there just ahead of Loudrup. Getting it to Malpass. Iwan in, aimed in there towards Daly. Goff gets a touch for Rangers up. Bowen gets it forward. This is Bully. That's Miller. Trying to pick out Durant there, but uh, United standing firm. This is Johnson. So uh, Bowman away back deep in his own defence. Gets it forward to Bowen. Down the line now for Christian Daly. Daly trying to get away from Basil Bully. And he has to settle for the throw-in, just in the line with the Rangers penalty area. And it's quickly taken. It's cleared by Goff. Turned by Bowman. But uh, the referee stepping in, indicating it was a use of an elbow. And uh, he's awarded a free kick to United. We're inside the final five minutes of this first half, and the Rangers are leading Dundee United by one goal to nil. Brian Loudrup after 17 minutes. A tremendous solo goal by him, but now Andy Gorham facing a bit of pressure here. Can United pull one back before half-time? McKinley tries a shot. Bowman tries one as well. And Andy Gorham scrambling across, uh, but uh, never in any great difficulty. David Bowman still looking for his first goal of the season. It was McKinley's free kick which came off the defensive wall. And then Bowman trying the shot. So the man has now made 326 appearances for United, 100 appearances as well for Hearts in his time at Tynecastle, so a vastly experienced performer. That's uh, played through by Bowman. The touch from Daly, laid off by Johnson. That's Malpass, Cleland, Bowman, 
trying to drop it in behind Goff. Johns is giving chase. And Goff takes no chance. Concedes the throw in. Andy Gorham had actually given the option to roll it back to him. I think Andy was ready to shell it into the crowd. But like you said, Richard not taking any chances. So Rangers who were in tremendous form in the early stages of this match and could have been two or three ahead. Uh, we'll be happy now to, I think, just take this lead with them to the dressing room at half-time. A little flare-up there involving Hausfrat. But, uh, the referee telling them to get on with things. A little flash of temper there, but the game has been played in a good spirit. Yeah, it has. Dave Bowman, uh, Hausfrat actually just leaning on Dave Bowman, not letting him get the cross in. Dave having a little swipe at him. And uh, Mr McCluskey just having a quiet word with Dave, but I don't think there was any real malice in it. So just under three minutes of the first half left, and Rangers leading by a goal to nil. It's a header from Miller, it's played by Jury. Just kept in play by Loudrup, and he takes a tumble, and the Rangers fans claiming a free kick, but the referee having none of it. Rangers have it again, though. Nice little change of direction there from Miller. Oh, what a revelation he's been since coming into the Rangers team. It's played now by Jury to Robertson. Malpass got it away, a touch from McKinley. Left there by Miller to McCall. Switch of play, good ball that from Stuart McCall. And Loudrop in a lot of room, picking out Jury almost, and across came Cleland to make a very good clearance indeed. Here come Rangers again though, and again it's Loudrop being watched by Hanna. Can't quite find the opening this time, and with just two minutes of the first half left, it's Christian Daly now trying to force a play forward for United, but uh, Rangers, plenty of players back in that area, and this is Miller trying the shot, but well wide of target. Yeah, I think Walter Smith's going to be very happy with his first half performance, although just in the last five or ten minutes with Rangers having to make that change, the D United seem to be controlling a little bit more. Ian Durant's natural way is to come a little bit more deeper than Ali would normally obviously stay up, and that's how they were causing Dundee United so many problems, but a little flicker of light for the D United, the fact that Rangers have had to force to make a change, and they'll be looking to get back into the game in the second half. It's uh, golf challenging against Christian Daly, getting the ball to McLaren. And drifting harmlessly all the way through to Callum O'Hanlon, who's uh, done well for United since arriving here a few months ago. Yorkshire born, but uh, he's already picked up one cup, uh, one cap for the Republic of Ireland, that was against Israel. So we're now inside the final minute of the first half. Rangers continue to lead, Dundee United by a goal to nil. This is McLaren. It's played through now by Miller, but uh, Clellan keeps a close watch on that. Final seconds of the first half, taking away as McLaren gets the touch. It's picked up though by Hanna. And trying to weave his way through, but it's cleared by Bully, headed down by Durant, picked up by Jury. And Jury's had a good first half. It's played through now by Durant, looking for Miller, but uh, Billy McKinley doing some sterling defensive work. And the referee awards that uh, United's way as we move into stoppage time. Probably the only wrong thing Charlie Miller's done all first half is really he's given a free kick away deep in the opposition's half when he doesn't really need to do that. He can stand up and try and jockey Billy McKinley to make a mistake. But bringing him down only gives possession back to the D United, but he really has had an excellent first half, Charlie Miller. And there goes the half-time whistle. Well, an excellent first half for Rangers. A superb goal after 17 minutes from Loudrop, a great solo goal. Rangers had further chances, a shot from McCoy, one from Jury, and a header from Charlie Miller. But the half-time score here at Tannerise is Dundee United nil, Rangers 1. Welcome back, everyone, to Tannerise for the second half of this match. Dundee United against Rangers. The referee just checking his watch and checking with the linesman on the second half. Gets underway. So the news from the Rangers dressing room is that uh, Ali McCoy does indeed have a hamstring problem. So that's a setback for them. But, 
uh, Ian Durant, uh, who came on just before half time, an experienced campaigner. But United have a habit of uh, fighting back in games like this. Uh, the record this season of coming from behind has been quite substantial. And uh, Rangers certainly had the chances in the first half to kill them off. It'll be interesting now to see if United can respond. And of course, with uh, Craig Brewster in such uh, excellent scoring form, uh, anything's possible. So a throw in has been awarded tight in against the corner flag to United. Turned in towards Christian Daly, but uh, Richard Goff's there. And it's behind for the corner kick. Well, I certainly wouldn't rule out Dundee United at any cost. They certainly showed a lot of resilience coming back against the other half of the old firm at the beginning of the month. And I'm sure Ivan Golak stressed that fact to them. And there's Brian Welsh, who is certainly dangerous from set pieces up and played into the near post up, and it's another corner to United. So no changes in the United lineup in the second half. And the Rangers have made just that one change, Ian Durant uh, for McCoyst. So this is Cleland. Good play by him. But, uh, just too many Rangers players around him. And that's a throw-in. So United winning a few throw-ins, a couple of corners in these early stages. Spins high in the air, and then behind for another corner kick. So a promising start to the second half by Dundee United. And a very important afternoon for them as they try to pull themselves back into the championship race. Of course, just the one UEFA Cup place up for grabs now. So second place in the league. Well, whoever can finish here this season will be mightily important in terms of a European place. A little clash there. And a few players will require some treatment. And uh, Richard Goff seems to have come out of that one badly. But, uh, McLaren is on the ground as well. But uh, Goff certainly seemed to take a heavy one there. Clash of heads with uh, Welsh. And certainly a clash of heads there, Jay. Richard Goff was absolutely immense in the first half. I don't think I saw him losing one header. Certainly up against it, there Brian Welsh, but there's a clash of heads. And, uh, Welsh receiving treatment also. Well, Richard Goff, who's won 61 caps for Scotland. And of course, one wonders will there be any more because uh, of his clash with the national team manager. But, uh, Richard Goff into his eighth season now with Rangers, chasing his seventh Premier Championship medal. But certainly taking a very sore one there as he went for that ball with the big United defender. Well, happily for United, well, seems to be OK. I think the problem for Richard, and he's taking it right on the side of the head, on the temple, and you know, when you get a, a knock there, it can certainly throw you, which is done there. I'm sure Richard in no way wants to leave this game. He will want to battle on. A bit of encouragement there from Basil Bully. And the game can now resume with the goal kick with the Smith there giving some instructions it's uh, just kept in play by Gordon Jury Robertson's header watched carefully by Malpass and Cam defending by the United skipper who still hasn't given up hopes of playing uh, fellow games for Scotland 55 caps he's won so far and uh, he could well be in the uh, frame depending on the injury situation for the forthcoming match against Greece. Now 32 years of age, signed back in 1979. It's laid off now by Christian Daly to David Hanna. The ball's out of play. And it's awarded Rangers' way. Rangers took five points out of uh, eight in the four league meetings last season. But, of course, United went on to win the Scottish Cup final. This season in the meetings, Rangers won 2-0 at Ibrox. And uh, they're leading by one goal to nil here this afternoon with 50 minutes. Gone, there's a tremendous shot going in from David Robertson. Well, if you don't go and shut David Robertson down, he's 
he can have a pot, and he was very, very unlucky there. So, David Robertson, just a one goal this season, but uh, Richard Goff is again in trouble, and obviously has not recovered from that clash with Welsh. Uh, there's a huge lump on his head, and it really is tiling. So, it's turning out to be an unhappy afternoon for Rangers in terms of injuries. Goff doesn't want to leave the field, but the uh, referees have got to be very careful in this type of situation. And uh, Mr McCluskey is indicating to him if it is a head injury, he must go for some treatment. The referees have been instructed that chances cannot be taken with this type of injury. So Rangers having already lost McCleist, losing Goff. And we're going to substitute this afternoon is Neil Murray, but uh, Goff will hope to continue receiving some treatment just below our commentary position. So here come United. Bowman and Clown trying to get them going. Now it's McKinley. That's a throw into United. The ball taking a little deflection there. This is Bowman. Looking for the head of Hannah. It's Gordon Jury though doing some defending for Rangers. Good play by Jury again, showing tremendous pace and getting away from Billy McKinley. He's been chased now by Hannah. And that'll be a booking. That'll be a yellow card for David Hannah, who pulled Jury to the ground. So the first yellow card of the afternoon, and the United player can have no complaints. John Jury showed great determination, great pace, keeping always just that half yard ahead of David Hanna, making him commit the foul if he wanted to, and he did, and he paid the consequences by being booked. Good force for running from, from Gordon Jury to try and put the United on as much pressure as they possibly can. So it's played shot by Durant to McCall. Well, Richard Goff has come back onto the field. And that's another free kick, this time it's Loudrop, who is taken out of the play. Well, the game has been played in a good spirit, but uh, one or two hefty challenges being made now. And uh, Gary Bowen, the culprit on that occasion. So, the free kick to Rangers, taken by Durant. Well, Bully's well forward, this is Haustra! Oh, magnificent goal by Peter Haustra! Before kickoff time, that this man had an incredible scoring record against United. He strikes again after 52 minutes. It's Dundee United nil, Rangers two, and another splendid solo goal. Tremendous play. The free kick floated in there. Volley was well forward. Houser didn't seem to have a shot on at all, but made the opening for himself and finished with great power. And that's his seventh goal against Dundee United in the past three seasons. Initially, when the ball came in for me and Durant, I was so surprised to see Peter Husser going to win the header for a header on goal. You don't normally see him in that position. And when the ball dropped him, when it ricocheted off Brian Welsh, he had a great first touch and lashed it into the corner and then gave Caelan O'Hallan absolutely no chance whatsoever. But he does have a great scoring record. The Rangers now are well in the driving seat. Well, two goals of great quality from Rangers this afternoon. And United now with an awful lot to do. I think as well, Jerry, for his own situation on his, his contract basis, I think maybe Walter Smith may be thinking just again whether he wants that to get rid of Peter House or not. And it certainly wouldn't be in terms of ability. It's because of the three foreigner rule in Europe. And uh, certainly the way House has been playing in the last uh, seven or eight games, uh, Walter Smith, I think, would want to keep on, but he also has to look at the balance of the side for the European scene. But Haustra has been a bit of a revelation this season. But here come United again. It's Johnson playing it through, looking for Cleland. And United get the corner kick. They've got to get something back quickly here. So Welsh moves forward to the edge of the area. And Gary Bowen's up there as well. Rangers managed to scramble it clear, but uh, the shot's still going in there from Cleland. And Andy Gorham had to watch that one all the way. It's a great save from Andy Gorham. He doesn't see a great a great deal of it. Brian Welsh gets up, the ball's clear, drops to Alec Cleland, who hit it with a bit of venom. But thankfully for Andy, it did come straight to his body. He managed to collect it OK. So the Rangers fans... 
and Phil Cry. Well, they flagged it up on the far side. And United have free kick. Led in by McKinley and nodded behind by McLaren. So United have the corner kick. So Rangers well in command of the situation, leading by two goals to nil. Loudrup in the first half, Houstra in the second, but uh, United with a chance on here, but confidently gathered by Andy Gorham. And uh, Richard Goff now seems to have recovered fully from that head knock. This is an all pass for United to Cleland, played off by Bowman. Well, there's no doubt that uh, with Rangers nearest challengers both drawing yesterday, is doing themselves in the championship hopes a lot of good here this afternoon that's played through now for Ian Durant oh magnificent a great pass by Loudrup and Ian Durant after 56 minutes makes it Dundee United nil Rangers 3 another delightful pass from Loudrup Durant running through and picking his spot behind the Hanlon great pass and a fine finish a great finish by Ian Durant again <laughs> He can't believe he's back at Rangers, that's where he wants to be, and his scoring goals for him is even better. The three defenders are so busy wondering what Ryan Loudrup's going to do. Ian Durant's got a free run, it's a great weighted pass from Ryan Loudrup to set him up. And there's no way Ian Durant was going to miss from there. Well, They're well, in the driving seat at 2-0. Rangers are absolutely, completely in control now. Well, it seemed when McCoyce went off that maybe a little fire was going out of Rangers' play, but... Back they've come, and they've surely finished this as a contest. So there could be some exhibition stuff now from Loudrup and Houstra. But uh, good play there by Bolin, returned by Bully. Nicely left by Durant, but uh, Gary Bolin read it well. Good play by Jury, who's had an excellent match this afternoon. Finds Robertson. Back it goes to McCall. This is Jury. McLaren. Durant to Loudrup. Loudrup threading it through, trying to find Durant. Just a bit ambitious with that one. And it's uh, Welsh who slides it clear of the danger area while they throw in two Rangers. So a 3 0. Two Rangers, Loudrup, Houstra and Durant, the scorers. And this is Loudrup, flipping it forward, looking for McLaren. Lips it away from Welsh, but uh, in comes Hannah. And it's a corner kick to Rangers. So, United about to make a change. I don't think has quite spotted the intention, but it's Cleland who's going off. And Robbie Winters. Young United player, just 20 years of age. He's come off the bench for the last uh, two matches and uh, played in the recent uh, friendly against Partizan Belgrade. And uh, he'll certainly play through the middle for United to see if he can get something back for them, but uh, Rangers and Quite irresistible form this afternoon. This is Bully. Oh, Basil Bully, who's already struck twice for Rangers, is joining them. Trying to get goal number three there. The ball right across the face of a Hanlon's goal. Certainly unlucky there, Basil Bully. Dundee United all at sixes and sevens. Actually started from when Rangers took the corner and they'd only one man against two. And that was why it was able to get the ball in the box so easy. And they really had to. Get themselves together for the United, they're going to be very embarrassed here. So that's an hour of the match gone. The Rangers lead by three goals to nil, and there are real celebrations going on behind Andy Gorham's goal. 
among the big travelling ranger support. Flipped in by Malpass, away by McLaren. Miller trying to get forward, but Welsh digs in. And sends the ball out of play for the throw to Rangers, deep inside their own half. And the Rangers fans enjoying their day out, and no wonder. And here come Rangers again through Haustra. Long ball played out of defence. Still it's Haustra getting in the cross, it's laid off by Durant. This is Loudrop. What can he conjure up here, but it's given away this time. Cleared by Malpass, picked up by Daly. This is Bowman. And uh, Brewster failing to get hold of that one. And it's Golf who provides a pass back. And confident clearance by Gorham. And that one broke the wrong way for Charlie Miller. It's picked up now by Billy McKinley. Played out to David Hanna, and that's slipped by him. And in comes Jury for Rangers. And uh, Jury on the deck after that clash with Hannah. The referee, though, waving play on. And uh, Jury back on his feet. The referee was quite right. Gordon certainly won the ball, and David Hannah maybe tipped him, but there was nothing in it. Rangers still had possession, and it was a good decision by the referee to let play go on. This is Welsh. It through looking for Daly. And then you got him coming right to the edge of the area. Richard Goff matched the run of Christian Daly. The offside flag has gone up just below us. The referee has now spotted it. And the free kick is awarded to United. And Durant straying forward. This is a bowling for United. Trying to pick out uh, Robbie Winters. Uh, United have the throw. Nice little turn there by Brewster. And a good effort by the United striker. And uh, got him just managing to claw the ball away. Good awareness by the big United striker. And they uh, got him at full stretch. Certainly a great effort by Big Tree Brewster. Andy, quick feet gets back, looks at block, look, made it look a lot easier than it actually was. So we just have a throw in. It's played through by McCall. Brewster gets a touch. And just a bit untidy at the moment. And it's uh, Bolly with the pass back. Hannah comes in and uh, got him had to act quickly. Well, passes header, climbing above Durant. <laughs> McLaren is keeping that one in. Well, a slight clearance by Gorham. Johnson tries to get forward, and uh, Charlie Miller making that challenge right in front of the referee. United have the free kick. So can United pull something back here? It's Bowman floating in the cross. McLaren gets a touch. Now it's McCall. Long ball forward for Jury to chase. Mal passes there though to match the run. And the goalkeeper reacts well. Now it's Welsh. This is Malpass, so United working themselves out of a difficult situation. Hannah gets the ball forward, it's returned by Bolly, a touch there by McCall, it's given away to Christian Daly. Now it's Brewster, playing it wide to Winters. So Ivan Golatz, who was uh, forecasting a 4-0 win the other day, although I think... Uh, was well, tongue in cheek is now looking on as uh, a 4-0 defeat uh, looms, but uh, at the moment it's uh, United nil, Rangers three, and uh, Rangers in splendid form. And you honestly wonder if there's anyone can 
mount a real challenge to them this season for the championship. Motherwell have done so well so far. Hibs made a good start to the season, but uh, I honestly wonder if anyone can stop Rangers marching on to the seventh consecutive title. Billy McKinley certainly not. Wanted to admit defeat yet, trying to produce something on his own to drive his, his colleagues forward, but it's going to have to be something extra special to beat Andy Gorham from that distance. That's 20 minutes of the second half gone. Just over 20 minutes. And Rangers lead by 3-0. This is Miller, Jury. Claren caught there by Winters, now it's Brewster. Well, United still battling away, Brewster gets a second chance there, and the ball dropping onto the top of the net. And it took a deflection, so United have the corner kick. And McLaren not at all happy with himself there. He let uh, Brewster get away from him. Complete miscue by the defender, but in fairness to him, he has had a good game. Still United battle to try and Gain something out of this game, but it all looks well beyond them now. We just play with a lot of spirit and commitment. That's McCall playing it through to Loudrup. Holding off the challenge there of Johnson. It's Malpass there with him now. Still it's Loudrup and a fine save by Callum O'Hanlon. Virtuoso play again by Brian Loudrup. He got away from Johnson. He took on Malpass and the goalkeeper did extremely well. I honestly thought Brian was looking for a man running in. After he had the shot, I think he realised that he was certainly quite entitled to have a go himself. So it's played through now by McCall, headed away by Welsh. Touch on by Brewster, who tried to drop deep. Now it's Robbie Winters playing it wide to Grant Johnson. United pouring players forward. It's headed away, though, comfortably by McLaren. It's McKinley. Trying to drive his team forward, and he wins the free kick. Uh, an apology there from Peter Haustra. Billy McKinley still working extremely hard, trying to lift the men around him. He plays in the free kick. It's uh, Welsh's header, and the ball dropping harmlessly behind. But, uh, Brian Welsh with a couple of goals this season. Last Saturday was his 100th Premier League appearance, and. Uh, that's good to know it because half of those appearances have come in the last 18 months. He's had a lot of injury problems in recent seasons. So good to see him back. Miller digging in well. Good running by him. And the referee indicates that the Rangers player took a dive ball. If the referee indicates that he should really book the player, Miller going through on a real charge here. And the referee actually indicated that the Rangers player had died, but then turned and walked away. This is Durant now trying to get through. I mean, that's a good challenge by David Bowman. Picked up now by Johnson. McKinley, and that falls out of play, and it's Rangers' throw. This is Durant, and the offside flag is up, a very close call indeed, because uh, Brian Welsh was in the middle. McCall was trying to get down the left-hand side, but uh, the flag went up immediately. Well, I haven't seen sure McCall as far forward as that many times today. He really has been the anchor man for Rangers in midfield, sitting just in front of the back four. And any ball cleared out by the knee defence has almost inevitably been collected by Stuart McCall for Rangers to keep them on the ascendancy. Well, Walter Smith said during the week that I reckon Stuart McCall had played his best game in many a month against Aberdeen in the week past Friday, and uh, certainly again this afternoon, he's performing well. But, uh, David Bowman there with a bit of a problem, a hand or wrist injury. And uh, United's other substitute is uh, Andy McLaren, another uh, of United's Glasgow-born players from Castle Milk, and uh, was signed, in fact, from the Rangers Amateurs Boys Club. 
So that's 70 minutes gone now as uh, play resumes. Rangers are leading Dundee United by three goals to nil. Waldrop, Haustra and Durant. And here come Rangers again and is Durant. And that's a good challenge by Morris Malpass. Ball's put forward by Bolin. Play through there by Winters. But uh, Bolley's just in ahead of David Hanna. This is Jury. As Bolly played that forward, it uh, deflected off Brewster. So it's Rangers ball. Well pass, almost running into trouble there in the shape of Haustra. It's Bowman. Well pass again. It's McKinley. It's Johnson. Rangers still chasing and tackling for every ball despite the commanding lead in this match. It's exactly what they're doing, Jerry. Even though they're conceding a little bit more possession than Dundee United, they're still harrying and jockeying and trying to get the ball back so they can create something for themselves. Played through by Johnson, cut out by Bully. It's Hannah for United. To Bolin. Out now to Robbie Winters. And he's solidly challenged by Alan McLaren. Well, Walter Smith must be pleased with the defensive formation this afternoon. Uh, both uh, Goff and Bolly have looked comfortable together, which uh, was not the case in the earlier part of the season. Robertson has performed well at left back and uh, McLaren. Just one little slip from him in the second half. Apart from that, uh, a very good performance indeed. And there's McCall again trying to get forward, but uh, touch letting him down. This is Bowman. And it's McKinley who just never gives up. Putting in the cross. Nice turn there by Brewster. And this is Hannah. And Hannah winding up for the shot, but uh, the ball. Right down to the enclosure roof. And Hannah not at all happy. Three goals he has this season. And a player who does make good forward runs, gets into good positions. Nice little turn there by Brewster. And as the ball broke out to Hannah, they send it high over the target. This is McCall holding off the challenge of Brewster. In fact, winning a free kick. Quickly taken, just too quickly up and given away. And it's Malpass with the ball through to his keeper. And it's uh, missed by Bolly. McLaren's there though, just ahead of the United substitute. And with a long one played towards Loudrup, but it's United's throw. Thank you as well, Jerry. Walter well, Smith will be very pleased with his defence, not only the way they've played today as, a, as more of a flat back four, but I think the Fraser wish it had been playing today. He always has the option to play golf Bolly and McLaren at the back. And I'm sure you might see that in weeks to come. And of course, with the uh, width being provided by Haustra and Loudrup, uh, he does have various formations that they can try out, and uh, that's certainly no bad thing. Meanwhile, the referee has uh, stepped in and awarded a uh, free kick against uh, Stuart McCall. Welsh up there battling for the ball, but uh, it's easily taken by Andy Gorham. Not the best of kickouts, but uh, it's Durant trying to get forward, and he's well challenged there by Johnson. So this has tended to be a happy hunting ground for Rangers in recent seasons, clinching a couple of their championships here. And of course we saw Trevor Stevens' great winner early in the programme when the Rangers one here a number of years ago. He'll no doubt be enjoying this performance by his teammates back in the studio. And it's carefully watched by Richard Goff. And that's behind for the goal kick. 
to Rangers with 75 minutes played and Rangers leading by three goals to nil. Yeah, I think Ivan Golak will be really disappointed. Ever the optimist, of course he will be. Uh, and after match comments, obviously, I think he probably will be as well. But the way that Dundee United really have, have kind of fizzled out and deteriorated in that little bit of pressure where Rangers got two goals in quick succession, I think that'll be the most alarming part for himself today. This is Loudrup for Rangers. Miller's calling for it. Well, almost getting on the inside of Morris Malpass. But uh, Charlie Miller, just 18 years of age and showing great maturity since uh, breaking into the side. Signed uh, just a couple of years ago from the Rangers Boys Club and a couple of goals scored already this season. This is Jury. It's headed away by Boland. Picked up now by Christian Daly. Goes down quickly by Jury. And United have the throw. Rangers fans with plenty of celebrations this afternoon, plenty to sing about and uh, they've seen the team play not just some great football but score three quality goals here come United now Bowen plays that one in and it's headed behind by Roberts and under pressure from Brewster for the corner to United United battling for the pride here and they'll want to get something back Welsh is again well forward. And it's Welsh who attacks the ball, gets a touch to it. Again, it's United's ball. It's Winters. Turn across, away from everyone, and out for the throw now to Rangers Robertson with the long one forward Ricks now to McCall Durant leaves it, it's McCall again, trying to pick out Loudrup. A little bit of slackness there by United. Holland gets it clear. Little touch on now by Johnson to Bowman, United with plenty of players forward. With it towards Johnson again. It's a second bite at it. And a great save there from Gorham. Well, a point blank save from Andy Gorham. Certainly Johnson got a couple of bites at that, but I think it was Christian Daly. Daly diving in there, and uh, Gorham doing extremely well. I'm sure Christian Daly will not believe that Andy Gorham actually saved this. Great reaction from Andy Gorham. I mean, okay, Rangers are cruising at 3 nothing, but certainly he's one man that doesn't want to let any goals in his net, and he did absolutely superb there. Nice little touch from Loudrop to Miller, now it's Durant, Jury. Go through by McLaren, Durant again. Loudrop, well, that was a late challenge by Johnson on Durant after Durant had made the pass, and he's called over by the referee. And Durant receiving some treatment. He looked around, decided to play the pass to Loudrup and uh, was caught late. So this will be the second booking of the afternoon. Hannah has already been yellow carded and now uh, it's Johnson. Certainly a bookable offence, Sherry. Johnson certainly came into catch engine right there. Made no attempt to play the ball whatsoever. And Mr McCluskey, who's had a good game today, he's quite right. And booking Johnson there. Just take the free kick and uh, Loudrup finds Robertson. Nice little touch by him, still it's Robertson. Oh, trying another shot, he certainly made a few efforts that goal this afternoon. And uh, when you're playing with this amount of confidence, why not have a go? Yeah, I think this must be one of the days that David Robertson thinks he's going to get on the score sheet today with Rangers being so much on top. 
He's had a couple of pots, but he just hasn't as yet hit the target. This is house trap. Comes off McKinley's head, it's picked up by Durant. It's low drop. Going through the early pass, but... United have no problems with that one. And this is Gary Bowen. So just ten minutes left here at Tanner Ice. Rangers are leading by three goals to nil. This is Miller. Haustra. Switch of play to Jury. Rangers content to knock them all about. Bully, Jury, McLaren. And the play switched again at Todd Robertson. This is Loudrup. Bowman comes to meet him. So too does Mal pass. Play answers the referee as uh, Loudrup tumbles to the ground. It's played through down by McCall looking for Robertson. And that's a corner kick. Ryan Welsh coming across, and uh, Robertson's pace causing problems for United yet again. And Rangers have the corner, and that's a signal for Basil Bolly to move forward. See if he can add to his goals tally. Put in by Loudrup, way by Bolin. Laren does well, knocks him all the way from Robbie Winters. This is Charlie Miller, Malpass goes with him, gets in a good cross, the goalkeeper gets a touch. This is Loudrup, and it's charged down there by Bowman, but the goalkeeper did ever so well. But uh, Charlie Miller, with a superb run forward, did really well to get in the cross. The goalkeeper was at full stretch and did just enough to touch the ball away with Bully coming in. So now the corner's delivered. This is McCall. Robertson. And just looking for number four, but uh, no power in that one to worry the Dundee United goalkeeper. I think with the amount of shots David Robertson's had on goal today, I think Walter Smith must have had a bet with him today or something that he couldn't go on the score sheet. But really, Charlie Miller, that last one, did exceptionally well. I thought he was looking for the corner. And played a beautiful chip to the back post that almost increased Rangers' lead. Well, United certainly missing uh, Jaron Nixon this afternoon, who's a player who came off the bench and uh, just might have caused Rangers some problems. But uh, as we heard Ivan Golak say earlier, he's away on international duty. And you just wonder about the fairness of that to clubs with limited squads. And the sooner FIFA get their act together and uh, make sure that international dates don't clash with club dates, the better. In a way, playing in the Pan American Games. In fact, I'm told they might not even be back in time for next week's match, you know, which really does seem crazy. So United have a corner. It's in towards Welsh, who gets a touch. And that's behind for the goal kick. So that had the Rangers defence scrambling a bit. The corner coming in from the right, Welsh. Got his head to the ball, and it went past the left-hand post of Andy Gorham. And uh, Craig Brewster just getting the final touch before the ball went out of play. I think it just could be one of those days for the D United, even though they are certainly down 3 nothing. Just maybe that they're not going to score any sort of form of consolation at all today. Well, after this particular uh, fixture a year ago, Rangers went on a run of 17 games unbeaten, which wrapped up the championship. And they certainly look capable of putting together another very good run. But it'll be interesting to find out what the injury situation is to uh, Mark Hatley, who'll have further x-rays on his damaged ankle in the week ahead. And Ali McCoy, who went off in the first half with a hamstring injury. Rangers will certainly need... Uh, both of those players back as quickly as possible. And there's also the possibility of a recall for Duncan Ferguson. 
United will have Gordon Petrich coming back after his suspension. So just under five minutes left here at Tannadice. Rangers are leading by three goals to nil. The scorers Laudrup, Haustra and Durant. United now looking for some consolation out of what's been a pretty miserable afternoon for them. Completely outplayed in the first half and then two devastating blows in the space of four minutes in the second half from Haustra and Durant Pounce to finish things off. So a lot of the United fans drifting away from the two stands they've been occupying this afternoon. United were going for, hopefully for three wins in a row this afternoon, but uh, it's well beyond them now. And Ivan Golic will be deeply disappointed, thinking that his men were starting to put together the kind of form that could just maybe get them back into the championship race, or certainly for the remaining UEFA Cup place. This is Laudrup. Off plays it across, a very convincing one to Robertson, who sat to play, that's Malpass. Higher to play for the throw. Two Rangers. They're moving through these final minutes with comfort. Yeah, unfortunately for the United, really in the, in the second half, they really only have been such spectators. And Rangers flurry at the beginning of the start of the second half has put paid to this game. And have really coasted over the last 20 minutes or so. Well, complete miss kick there by Callum O'Hanlon. Well, certainly have done the endurance confidence no harm this afternoon coming on and scoring a very good goal and uh, Gordon Jury will take a lot of, of his performance as well coming back into the side and here is Jury but uh, Hanlon snatches that one comfortably with just three minutes left but uh, the clearance not a good one and Rangers have the throw so Callum Hanlon there who could have played for uh, Northern Ireland Billy Bingham tried to get him at one stage, but uh, Jack Charlton won out eventually, giving him an under-21 cap and capping him at full level. And this is McKinley for United. Mal pass. Takes a return from McKinley. It's Bowman. Lead off now by Durant to Miller. So just under two minutes left as Laudrup comes forward, showing great pace and held back there by Welsh. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. Certainly they were chasing defenders and uh, Laudrup was not running directly at goal, but uh, Welsh just pulling him as uh, the Rangers player accelerated and sheer frustration from the United player. Both Hannah and Johnson have already been yellow carded, and that's the same fate for Welsh. Yeah, I think, uh, Jerry, as soon as Brian realised he was against Brian Welsh, he knew he had the legs of him, he could take him on. And Brian Welsh, apart from having no option, not wanting to consider another goal, fell Loudrop. So the free kick by Loudrop. And just have the throw in with just about a minute left. So a remarkable number of uh, United fans have already deserted the stadium. And uh, Ian Durant there, taking a little bit of a tumble, but he's all right. Good to see Ian Durant back in the team again. He'll be thinking he's part of the squad again, scoring a goal today, playing a big part in the second half of this Rangers win. And I think Walter Smith's going to be very happy with the, the whole team performance. And I'm certainly sure they can go on, like you said, Jerry. They certainly look well on top of their form at the moment, and they're certainly the team to catch. And I don't know if anybody can do it. And uh, Ivan Golats with plenty to think about in the days ahead. As United now will drop 14 points behind Rangers, which is uh, a considerable gap at this stage of the season. 
So the high ball being played in there, but uh, in the end, no real problem. Craig Brewster again making the challenge. So we've now moved into stoppage time in this game. And it's the Rangers fans who are enjoying that afternoon. One last kick up the field for United, but it matters little. So it's played through by Johnson. Takes a return from McKinley, through to Hannah. It's challenged by Goff, that's a free kick against the Rangers skipper. Bolin moves forward, but uh, Walsh hasn't even bothered on this occasion. McKinley tries a shot, and uh, straight through to Andy Gorham with one minute of stoppage time played. So an afternoon of frustration for Billy McKinley and his teammates, but in fairness to McKinley, he's trying to keep things going. So a check of the watch from uh, referee McCluskey, and his malpass gathered up this ball. Header. This is Brewster. And Robertson in control of that situation. Well, there have been one or two knocks in this match, and the referee adding on. It's a bit of time, but it's all elementary now. Again, Mr. McCluskey checks his watch and looks out towards the linesman. And there goes the final whistle, an emphatic victory for Rangers, who increased the lead at the top of the table. Ian Durant there, scoring Rangers' third goal, set up by Loudrup. It was Loudrup who opened the scoring for Rangers after 17 minutes. Peter Houstra scored a fine second after 52 minutes, and then Ian Durant just four minutes later. The final score here at Tannadice, Dundee United nil, Rangers 3.